Oh, it's not good when another team, especially your rival, gets under your skin. I mean, we already beat Oklahoma this season. But Stoops and, and the Sooners, they're just just—they're in so many recruiting battles. There's so many guys that we need and that we're going after within our own state, in our own backyard in the state of Texas. And it just seems like Oklahoma has their fingers in every single battle. They're forcing us to dump points into guys that possibly we wouldn't necessarily need to. We could be going after other recruits on the trail, but instead we've got to spend hours upon hours making sure that we don't lose our homegrown talent to our biggest rival, our neighbors to the north in OU. And so it doesn't matter if it's tight end, tackle, quarterback. Luckily at halfback, we don't have much of a challenge, but unfortunately we don't really need anybody there. It seems like Bob Stoops knows exactly what we need, the positions we have to fill, and he's just causing problems. He's just stirring the pot, making it difficult. We've got games we've got to focus on. I shouldn't be thinking about Oklahoma and how they're annoying us, especially when we beat them just a few weeks ago. We're trying to prepare for teams like Kansas and West Virginia on the road coming up, a big ranked game, and we've still got to play Baylor, Oklahoma State. There's some crucial contests yet to come in this season. We're trying to climb the ladder. I don't know, and maybe it's just a matter of we haven't signed a lot of recruits just yet. And that frustration is starting to build up for Charlie Strong and the rest of the Longhorn staff in Oklahoma is just being a pest. They're like that annoying little brother that you just want to beat at everything. It could be who can tie your shoes the fastest. It could be who can eat the fastest, who can eat the most. It doesn't matter if it's on the field or in recruiting, we do not want to lose to Oklahoma. And right now, on the recruiting trail, they're at the number four class with a lot yet to happen and we're stuck back at 27. Something has to change soon. And hopefully it will. So check back after this one for tomorrow's episode. We've got a big game coming up against Kansas. And I hope to follow that up with some big recruiting news in the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.